I listed some stuff yesterday and I was pleasantly surprised at how quick it sold. Hey, welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris and I'm a full-time reseller, just in case you didn't know. And um, yeah, today I thought I would just make this quick-ish video because I listed some stuff yesterday and I was pleasantly surprised at how quick it sold. But before we get to that, this was a little surprise as well because I thought I'd listed all of Trainer Lady's trainers. Remember the videos, just in case you're new here, I bought a massive job lot, regular job lots um, of brand new inbox trainers. We called a Trainer Lady, we did lots of deals and um, since then I've moved, but I was going through the garage and I found another box full that I hadn't listed. And this is a bit of a Brucey bonus because there's probably close to a thousand pounds worth of trainers here. And I've just listed all these today. So I thought I'd take you through them and show you what was here because I think this is the last lot of trainers that I've got. I think, I think it is. Um, but I do have some more clothing from Trainer Lady that I haven't yet listed. So that'll be coming up over the next couple of months as we approach Christmas. It'll be a nice time to list all brand new, top quality clothing. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you quickly what these were. And then I'll talk to you about the thing that I was surprised about yesterday. So this is it. I think this is the final box of trainers. Um, I'll show you everything that I put on. Also, I'll try and flash up on screen um, everything that I've listed, like the prices and stuff, the, uh, the listing values and whatnot. Um, some nice women's wallaby boots. Uh, blue suede. Uh, what are they? Size UK 6. If by any chance anybody is interested in anything that I show you on any video, not just this one, Always message me on Instagram or Facebook. We can always do a deal. We can always do a deal. There's always deals to be done. Some Polo Ralph Lauren uh, da -da, brown suede trainers. Uh, I've already bagged these up, but I will, I will take this one out so you can have a proper look. Very nice trainers. I've actually got these in grey somewhere as well. Let's get you in the middle of the camera there. Real nice with the zip on the front. Uh, what size are these? I think these are, let's have a look. Most of them are sixes or there or thereabouts. They're a UK five and a half. Let's put them back in the bag because these are all listed, as you can see on the screen. Listed them all. Some real nice. There's another pair of polos here. Now these are these are really snazzy. These are really nice. Um, have a look at these. Uh, tech sneaker, UK size six. I'm waiting until you see these. These are really nice. Take a look at those. Well, some may say horrible. Some may say snazzy, but I'm saying that they are nice trainers. Look at those. Polo Sport. Very nice indeed. Um, and they are UK six. All brand new trainers. Let's have a look at some North Face. The North Face have sold really, really well. And these ones actually, it's probably about one of the only pair of trainers from North Face that I've got. Because they're all these mule nupsy slipper type things. This is an unusual pair of North Face because most of what I've had are slippers, booties, stuff like that. And um, women's flight vective. These are a UK six and a half. Uh, I'll show you the other North Face while we're here. Uh, these are, here we go. We're back to the normal kind of North Face. Women's thermoball traction mules. UK size six. And a bit of a funky colour in these. Take a look at these. Look at that. That is funky. I mean, these these are expensive slippers, really, aren't they? I wouldn't pay that much for slippers, but then then again, I can be a tight ass. 
I might buy them second hand, but probably wouldn't pay that much new. But somebody will, and people do because I've sold quite a few pairs of those. Let's have a look at some Nikes. Um, a nice pair of Nike Dunk High um, Nylon Premium. Uh, what size are these? These are a men's, men's UK 6, but they are unisex anyway, but these are actually listed as a men's UK 6. Really nice Nike Dunks, lovely inside. And they've got this purple accent and they come with um, a pair of purple laces which you can switch out instead of white. Let's see what else we've got. Um, Nike Free OG 14 running trainers. These are a nice color as well. Very nice looking trainer. Whoa, whoa, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> um, these are men's, well, the class is men's, but again, they can be unisex for sure. Real nice trainer. Um, and they're down as a men's UK six. Let's see what else before you get bored and then we'll move on to something that I really wanted to talk to you about. Uh, we've got some women's air vapor, air vapor max 2021 very nice indeed look at these lovely trainers those are a size uk six and a half really nice lovely cushioning on the back like those and the last two we've got some sort of winter boots just coming out of summer now aren't we so Probably a good time to get these shifted. I have sold a pair of brown ones, exactly the same model. I think they went for about 90. So I've listed these back a little bit higher now that we're coming into season for those. These are Moo. Original price RRP 155. As you can see there, 155. Oh, what size were they? Uh, UK 6, of course. And the last pair is this new balance these are actually a men's size uh men's uk six and a half um again really nice new balance i didn't realize until i started dealing with trainer lady um how sought after new balances these days because i don't remember new balance being this good when i was a bit younger um but that's a nice pair of trainers uh usa uh what were they uh, da, da, da. Lifestyle USA. But again, yeah, nice trainer. The laces are in there. It's just never been laced up. Uh, and there we a men's six and a half. So it was a nice surprise to see them in the garage because I thought I'd listed all the trainers. So let's get on to this little surprise sort of sale spurge yesterday if that's how I can describe it. So um, at the weekend, I picked up a wee bundle. And I don't often pick up wee bundles anymore because generally they're a bit overpriced at the boot sales. And secondly, they don't, wee stuff doesn't seem to go for much anymore. Everyone knows it did great through lockdown, but now lockdown's over. I think every man and his dog has got a wee. Um, well, that was what I thought. So I bought this wee bundle and I paid I think around 50-ish pound for it, 50 or 60 pound actually. And I got um, a load of wee stuff and I'll show it in a second because it's on the floor actually because what I do in my process is I list and I put it under the table and that means it's listed and then it goes into the stock room downstairs. So at the moment it's under the table because I haven't even put it into stock and it's almost all sold like like that, seriously, so fast. So what I need to do is go handheld. So, down here is the stuff that I picked up from the boot sale. There's no boot sale footage for this. I picked it up at uh, the Tear Prince. Now, there should have been an extra Wii Fit board and game, but when I tested the Wii Fit board, it um, was completely corroded. It was knackered in the battery compartment. So just 
irretrievable and not worth putting any more effort into it because they're not worth loads of money. I think about 50 to £60 are paid for all of this, including the Nintendo Switch game. So um, I came away thinking, oh, this is going to be a bit of a pain. And it'll probably sit around for a while. But I listed all this stuff yesterday. And by the end of the day yesterday, the same day, so I would say within 12 hours, in most cases within six hours, certainly by the end of the day, I sold this. This had gone. The Mario Kart with the two steering wheels. And I do have another steering wheel as well, which I've not listed. Um, that's gone. I think that was sort of around around the £20 mark. I'll put it on screen if I can. That's gone. I also listed um, these. This is a bundle. That's not sold yet. So that's still, that's still listed. This is sold. So that's gone straight away as well within just within hours of listing it. Uh, what else is sold? Um, I also listed a bundle of I did I did two controllers, the the motion plus and the two nunchucks. I've put that up that all into a bundle. I've also done this Wii bundle, the console bundle comes with Wii Play, there's also Wii Sports in there, and it comes with this stand thing, and that is all sold. This uh, is sold, listed that, that sold straight away, it comes with like a little leg pouchy thing, so that's gone. I've listed the Wii Fit board with game, I actually only listed that this morning, so I didn't have time yesterday, so... Yet to see if that's going to be a fast seller. Probably not. But really chuffed with everything that went within hours of me listing it. So, and that's wee stuff. I guess if you list anything at the right price, it's going to sell quickly. But yeah, I was really happy with that. And I kind of paid £50, £60 pound for this, all of it together. So that's like 20 quid. I listed that little bundle for 20 quid. I think that went for a tenner-ish. That's up for about 30, 35. That went for, what, 40. That went for 22 or 21 or 22. That's listed for 20. So there is money in there. I would have had another Wii Fit board, but it's broken. So I lost out on about 20 quid on that. So there you go. That was my little surprise sale. So does it surprise you that this Wii stuff sold so quick? It definitely did me. I really thought... Might be a bit of a slow seller, a lot of competition on eBay for this stuff, but went really quickly. And I don't think I've had that many quick sales of stuff I've listed the same day for a while, to be honest with you. So am I going to pick up more of it? If the price is right, that's the thing, isn't it? But only if the price is right. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the quick video. It wasn't that quick in the end. But um, give us a thumbs up. Drop your comments. What did you think? And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you later.